Using vulgar language, President Trump today questioned why the United States would allow people from Haiti and Africa into the country, describing those places using an expletive while suggesting people from Norway might be more acceptable. He reportedly made the comments during a White House meeting with a bipartisan group of senators. The White House tonight is not denying the president made the remarks. And we want you to know our report includes that expletive once so that you can hear the complete quote for yourself. And of course, it may not be appropriate for some of our younger viewers. NBC's Peter Alexander has details. The president tonight apparently uncorking another astonishing statement, complaining to lawmakers in the Oval Office about protections for immigrants. Why do we want these people from, quote, all these shithole countries here? According to a Democratic aide familiar with the conversation, Mr. Trump was referring to African nations and Haiti before suggesting the U.S. should have more people from places like Norway, Prime whose Prime Minister he met yesterday. Norway. A White House spokesman tonight not denying the president's words, but saying certain Washington politicians choose to fight for foreign countries. But President Trump will always fight for the American people. It comes as lawmakers try to hammer out an immigration deal, with time running out for hundreds of thousands of young undocumented immigrants called dreamers. The crass remark punctuating a wild day in Washington with President Trump fiercely criticizing the controversial Foreign Surveillance Intelligence Act, or FISA, just hours before Congress was set to vote. The president resurrecting his unfounded attack on the Obama administration, claiming this is the act that may have been used to so badly surveil and abuse the Trump campaign by the previous administration and others. The intelligence community immediately erupting. I thought the president's tweets once again were irresponsible and not thought through. Even Republicans frustrated. The honest the tweet was a mistake. The president is supporting the vote today. If you're a member of the intelligence community and you woke up this morning and saw that tweet, uh, it's uh, hard for me to describe the outrage and consternation. The president posted his tweet that contradicted the White House's public position United after this States direct appeal from a Fox News office. analyst. Mr. President, this is not the way to go. President Trump later this morning appearing to reverse himself, get smart. The White House in damage control with Chief of Staff John Kelly hustling to the Hill and Paul Ryan getting on the phone with the president. 72 goes down. We don't know what the terrorists are up to. The consequences are really high. The program ultimately passed. Tonight, top Democratic lawmakers are blasting the president's vulgar comment, one calling it unforgivable. Here with the White House, an official tells NBC News President Trump felt particularly frustrated when today's immigration discussion turned to the visa lottery system, a program that he wants to end. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.